In this video I will show you how to make weak nitric acid. Good morning. Warning. This experiment produces large quantities of toxic gases and uses very corrosive acids. All the experience must be performed in a female and all the apparatus must be glass to withstand the acids. As you all know, nitric acid is a very useful acid able to dissolve copper, silver and many other metals. In this video, I'll show you a simple way to make it. Let's we'll start putting about 40 grams of a nitrate salt. I'm using potassium nitrate, but you can also use another nitrate salt, like ammonium nitrate. Put the salt in a glass container, then add 25 millimeters of water and try to dissolve as much as you can. Then add about 15 grams of copper or more. Now take a larger container and fill it with 25 millimeters of weak and cold hydrogen peroxide. After put the first container in the second one and carefully add 50 millimeters of 30% hydrochloric acid. Now place a container large enough to fit over the small container, but small enough to fit inside the outer container. The reaction lasts 30 minutes or more, so I'll skip over the part. However, the solution turns first to yellow green at the end to black. After a little bit you will be able to see the highly toxic nitrogen dioxide that has got a, a red and orange color. Since it's fluorescent, because it's heavier than air, it's forced to flow into the larger container and reacts with hydrogen peroxide to form the weak nitric acid. This process is not sufficient, but it works. Alright, stay out both inner containers. A red cloudy of the gas is what free, so be careful. Now, pour out the acid. It's a bit green because it's contaminated with the original solution and really weak but somewhat usable. To test it, add some to a test tube and after put a small piece of copper or lead. It's bubbling, so it means that nitric acid is present. After a little bit the solution turns to a pale blue due to the presence of copper nitrate. Here we can see a lead nitrate solution. Because of impurity it appears yellow color and a white powder of tin is present on the bottom. Tin in fact it is, is used normally in common lead items. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate and comment too.